Wait. What's broken, Darth Tolin? Hello, by the way. <laughs> Alright, so today's question for uh, the week one is seven. Weekly wrap up. Did you achieve your goals for the week? Overall, how was this week of the challenge for you? Uh, yeah, okay, the question and the answer is... Um, I think I'm on track. I think I am going to be able to do to deliver what I have set out to do. I haven't been painting for uh, this miniature uh, in two days now, so I need to start paint on it and produce more videos. You know, producing videos, painting the miniature and um, being a dad <laughs> and everything, it takes it, uh, it, you know, everything takes it time. And uh, I wanted also to do the tire thing where we are showing our where we live and stuff. So I might need to shoot a video and put it up tomorrow. So how do, how do I feel? How do I feel overall? How, how it's going? I think it's going good. Um, interesting to see how people, what other people think about it. I don't know. Um, I think uh, when it comes to uh, my YouTube style and my, my Twitch style, it's kind of dicey. I do different things every day <laughs> and I don't, I don't know how people enjoy that. But uh, it kind of, to me, to stick to one thing is extremely hard. I need to like uh, ping pong a little bit about different things and maybe that's hurting my YouTube uh, presentation or something, my persona of YouTube. I don't know. I really don't know and I, I'm not pretending to understand how that works because I don't. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Dart Torlin says nothing is broken, just trying to throw you off. Hey, <laughs> that's what friends do. <laughs> Uh, we are going, me and uh, my oldest son is going to watch uh, Galaxy, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. We saw uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 yesterday on my television upstairs. And um, yeah, it's, uh, <coughs> it's, I hope uh, number three is more like uh, number one. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's going to be very nice to have a, a father and son evening at the cinemas. I kind of like that. Uh, we do not do that very often, so it's very nice to have some alone time with just one child. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, so that's my um, answer for Warbos Tay Server Painting Challenge and uh, signing off on that. Uh, now we are going to go a little bit in and do some more hobbying and just finish off uh not finish off by all means but i think we are going to try to do i think today i'm going to work on my wings i'm going to uh, make hatches and try to make a lot of scratches Woo! and let, make it look like old old skin that's the problem with the uh, cork it's have no weight to it uh, so i'm thinking about how to uh what's the best option here uh, because I wanted to have a good shot on, on Twitch so people can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> okay, so anyways, how are you? It's, uh, it has to be extremely late over, or very early <laughs> over in the US of A. Here it is um, 12.45 p.m. So, time zones, very funny. Always very funny for me, I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. <laughs> Let's see. Let's put up the chat so I can see what's happening. And let's go from there. My channel live. There we go. Okay. I do a lot of this. I don't know why I do do this. Uh, it's it's a quirk. But yeah, okay. I think the sound is okay, so I can leave this off. Ooh, okay. So this, the paint you see here on my uh, wet palette is, I, th I think it's three weeks old now. <laughs> so it, it might be time to change it up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's holding on. It's uh, The paint is good, so it's like eh. Why worry about it? <laughs> but 
but yeah. So my process now is to do a lot of more work on the miniature. Then I'm going to go, uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit airbrush on top of that again. And uh, it's a lot of work back and forth. The dance of the paint, the painting dance has commenced. So I learned a thing yesterday. I don't know. I, I think I have heard it before. I'm going to have broken lines also. Take it up a little bit and broke. Don't have just clean lines, but have lines that you take up and down, but have it is a line. Uh, but yeah, uh, the whole body, even the heart, changes out. Uh, the, the heart, I think it's like 5% of the heart is changed in a year or something. They have some measurement with it. I'm not going to go technical on it, but the, uh, the Kalolinska Institute in Sweden study it and they used isotopes and stuff like that. I'm not going to pretend I understand it, but everything in your body changes, except your eyes, R your retina, your lens, everything like that. It doesn't uh, renew itself. So you have the whole body, the whole uh, sh shebang changes up, but not the eyes. And I get it because you are using your eyes all the time. And if you if you are sleeping and they're changing your lens when, while you sleep and then you wake up uh, and you don't see and uh, you know a lion come and attack you, you know, in the jungle or whatever, when you are like an animal back in the day, that wouldn't uh, be very good. So that's why probably you're not changing your eye uh, lens. But uh, it's very interesting. So everything else changes up. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Then we are going to go over it with the leather colors and stuff. We're going to knock back this whiteness of the, the scratches. I have some that just like so and like so. Don't have to, we, we want it a little bit uh, random and not too uniform. That's kind of the hardest thing. So we go to change up the broad just be a little bit more artsy with it it's very important to have sound effects when you are painting of course <laughs> oh I kind of want to highlight a little bit also so let's use the same color and then we use it to highlight uh, the brokenness of it okay I need to have it watered okay Recharge the br brush. But yeah. So that's interesting for me. I think it was. Um, I listened to a lot of podcasts, and yesterday I think it was um, stuff you should know that had about. Uh, renew went of your body parts uh, and how things are at the moment is very good but there are there's some aspects of games workshop that are very interesting it's like why do you choose this and you have to uh, you can't be you can't be living in the you can't be stagnant so it's very extreme uh, interesting to me that they are pivoting to the old world yes i love it it's freaking awesome but is this the correct way to move forward with uh, games workshop maybe maybe it is maybe it's, there's an angle i don't see because that's the legacy of uh, freaking games workshop it's uh, warhammer fantasy but it's like why did they pull it to the eighth edition why didn't it pull it back to to something even m like second edition or something like super super nostalgic old stuff and then bump it up from there, you know, bump all the, the characters and like the hero Warhammer, bump it to to be closer to Age of Sigmar, but with the, the, the fun characters of Warhammer, not this like grimdark. I feel like fantasy as always, Age of Sigmar I feel is a little weird because it feels like it's um, Warhammer 40k, very serious, uh, everything is emo. <laughs> Whereas 
what fantasy back uh, it was fun it was clumsy it was it just felt more alive uh, it didn't feel like a grim story of a 10 year old and yeah yeah a lot of warhammer 40k for me is more like something more juvenile i think fantasy more humor more felt alive felt more real because it was more fl flimsy and fun maybe i'm wrong but that's the feeling i sit sit with so i, I can just talk for it <coughs> there you have it now it's more alive for me now it's freaking dragons coming to eat somebody it's going to f somebody stays up hard <coughs> Warhammer uh, Fantasy Battle was fun. Guns, exploding weapons, falling apart, and that's been before they got to the other side of the table. Yep. Yes. It was a very whimsical. You have to second guess yourself. You had to. You can't. You could not pre measure. Um, I, and that feel was very fun. Uh, I very much appreciate the pre measure system in War Machine. But for, for Warhammer Fantasy Battle, that was so much part of the charm. Having my Bretonians line up, ready to fuck somebody stays up with charge, and then you roll snake eyes, and they just stumbled, and the horses fell over, and <laughs> so much fun! And you uh, and then you can be, be grumpy and telling your dice to fuck off and throwing the trash and stuff. It was fun! I love that, uh, and probably scary to look at if you were looking in <laughs> to these deranged players. But <laughs> it was fun to have uh, uh, like a, a, a dice, a, a, a thing that can't uh, you can't hurt its feeling, and tell it to fuck off. It was very much a good good time for me. <laughs> uh, not a now that I think about it, I don't think I ever throw, throw my dice away because I'm a cheapo. But I definitely told them they were asshole and I had to work harder. Or I would, uh, you know, throw them in the river or something. <laughs> Just like they were possessed by uh, uh, Nuffle. Was, is it Nuffle? The Blood Bowl dice god. <laughs> but yeah. I'm going to. I think I'm. Yeah. I'm going to take this one. So, back to the. What do I think about this uh, seven days of the challenge? I'm extremely happy when it comes to the hobby side of it and the production side of things. I am. As I'm looking at the numbers, uh, the view numbers, and who is with us. I wish there were more people in the challenge. I wish there I could put up more uh, higher numbers, um, but it is what it is, and I'm I'm, I'm enjoying having um, people uh, coming in and saying hello and stuff like that, and I'm enjoying uh, the things we have. Uh, but you know, I don't know. Anyways, oh shit! Holy shit! Wait! 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 What the fuck? Like so? <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> hey people welcome to the stream i was about to say fuck off you know that's my calling card when i'm going off hey we have followers <laughs> and then freaking mini matis is coming here and just raiding me how was your stream my man you're doing amazing God's work on a Sunday. Your painting is uh, second to none, my man. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, um, thank you for the following. Uh, oh my God, there is a lot of guys and girls and Tyranids, I guess. Uh, fuck my life. <laughs> okay, I, I need to sit uh, an hour more. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta pay back the favor, man. Holy shit. You, you're paying back plentiful here. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, who is following? Um, Clucks on TV. Hello. Um, uh, who is more? Janetia. 
Hello! Chair with 200 bits. Hello, hello, hello. Gray T TV underscore. Hello! Um, <laughs> uh, my, my man. Holy shit, my man. We, we are not going anywhere, says Bunka. That's true. We need to pay respect. Uh, who is Wade Elf? Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. Um, Ara True, hello, stay awesome. Um, Samura 17, hey, hey. Um, uh, wow, holy shit, my people, my brothers and sisters, and you know, whatever you call yourself. Uh, welcome, 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 welcome. Um, it was great. Turtle is getting along nicely. Yeah, it's a journey. Uh, a question, a big question for you, Minimatis. Uh, do you have this problem of you never really finished with your miniatures? I can paint and paint and paint and paint and paint and never seem to be finished. So if you don't know, this miniature here is uh, a very old relic of the old world. 98 was the year this came out. It's, um, it's Arsenal the Dragon Lord, a mercenary dog of war miniature. Uh, it's extremely nice kid, and I'm so falling in love with it. It's a Warhammer uh, fantasy battle miniature, and we have the rider on side here. For uh, I have a time uh, time stamp, uh, a time deadline is the word. A deadline. I'm from Norway, so my words are mixed up. Um, I have a deadline: 31 days. This miniature has to be done. I am in a summer challenge, um, and it's a challenge. Warboss Tay over at the YouTube has uh, uh, said out to people so in this summer you have 31 days whenever you wish to do it and you make uh, content and you paint up your miniature so i uh, i choose the, the relic from the old world arsenal and he is on high elf riding on death fang so the two the the first week this is the first week of the death fang i'm going to use one week more to paint on him and then I'm going to say finished. What, who, whatever he looks like at the end of next week, it's done. Maybe I'm going to finish him before. I don't know. And then Arsenal is the mercenary that's right on top of him. He is going to be a separate beast. We are having this. We can put on the saddle. So I'm going to put all of that. And I'm not good with gems, fry, freehand and stuff. I admire people that are. Uh, it's insane what people can do. What I am going to do, my my challenge in the challenge, in the challenge, I don't know, it is the gems. I'm going to try to uh, have the gem effect and make it look uh, nice. But <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, I, I, I don't know. If there is, is any questions, anything you wonder about uh, in the chat, drop down some questions right now uh, if so I can answer them. Uh, if 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 not, uh, it's uh, time for me to leave. It's two two p.m. here where I live right now, so I am thinking about maybe uh, go upstairs and make dinner and stuff for my kids. I have three kids, so so they don't go hungry for all day, every day. Um, yes, um, nice. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Three weeks it's time to change this one and we use dirty water for the painting session today we are going to take it upstairs and change it too uh, i'm going to render the video and uh let's um it seems like the, the chat is okay uh, and and it's all, all all good in the hood so we are going to pay it forward like mini motis and we are going to find somebody somebody out there which we want to raid i'm, I'm going to see if there is somebody I have watched and, and seen doing this stuff, but let's see, let's just put it all back on there, and let's see.
way of streaming. So let's see if we can find him. There we go. We are raiding. Thank you, John Janetier. Ja Janetier? Thank you for that suggestion. That's actually somebody doing painting some miniatures, so that's good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's raid. Okay, Vikings, let's go. And thank you all for making this happen. And special thank you to everybody that smashed that like button to subscribe and to do some writings down below. Comments down below on anything, ask me anything. This is my Warhammer channel. And a very much special thank you to everybody that's my Patreon, Shadowblade9797, K Burr, Andreas Edison, Hans Albert Holden, Daniel Jonsson, Warbos Tay Studios, Octave Villar, Andreas Bakkehoven Mikkelsen, oh, and David Mofad. Oh my god! <claps> Boop! Thank you so much for making this happen. Anyways, hey, thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye now.